Hi guys, Creative Lori here. Welcome everyone. <laughs> if you're new to my channel, I'm a home stager. Excuse me. And I like to share with you all my um, decor hauls for my home, my business. Um, haven't had to buy a whole lot lately. Um, furniture, well, I did have to buy furniture, but not like the small stuff, um, the decor portion. I like to share with you my projects and DIYs. Today is another Dollar Tree haul. I've been doing a lot lately, it seems like, with the Dollar Tree, but I'm seriously in love with their new fall flowers. Now, I'm surprised my store has gotten these in. I mean, lately, I've been pretty impressed. <laughs> and because normally, it seems like my store gets everything last or close to last. So I had, this is going to be like a Dollar Tree and Target haul. There's not too much Target, but I wanted to get more of the flowers I've been talking about and the dishware. Now, I got a bunch of flowers, as you can see. A majority of these are going to be for fall. But I'm going to experiment because I don't really like a lot of color in my own home. I like it to be really pale serene colors like stick with the grays and taupes and creams and uh and when i say green i mean like a muted green not a primary green um, not even a lime green or light green it's got to be that muddy gray green that's what i like so years ago when i was younger i loved sunflowers and then i didn't like them and then i like them again but i really love the cream colored ones and I couldn't find them anywhere. I couldn't even find them at the Dollar Tree. In fact, those are the ones I first bought, the yellow ones over there, which I'm going to be doing something different with those and I can't wait to show you. Stay tuned though to the middle and end of this video because I have some exciting news to tell you. <laughs> so I guess that means you have to watch my video all the way through. <laughs> um, and I, um, yes, very exciting news, and anyways, I went to the Dollar Tree, I specifically went there actually for, for one thing, you know how that works, and I got, um, six of those, um, lemon slice Pilsner glasses, uh, for a friend, and because her store didn't have them, so I'm like, let me go get them before they're gone, so I got those, and while I was there, you know, I looked at the flowers and everything, but um, I was going to order these really pretty um, light colored, cream colored sunflowers um, from a website that um, I think Dow, you told me about them. Um, Trending Tree, I think it was. And they were pretty and a pretty good price, I have to admit. And then today I saw Arlen um, of Arlen's Country Craft Corner haul these gorgeous ones they're like really big and and tall and i think she got them from um and that that's the the website and store but for a dollar you guys i can't believe that i found these so i'm going to show you what i got because i want to show you these this is just what i got yesterday and i have more that i've hauled the last two times that i bought them everything was gone um, the hydrangeas pretty much gone. The the light any light colored item was gone. So I am going to show you um, what I got, and I'll kind of come back and I'll do a little comparison. But I think you guys are going to like love. I am in love with this color. So you can see all the flowers I got. Let me start with the Target stuff because I only got two things besides like food stuff. Um, I got, I watched Auntie Cuckoo's haul, and they had these little pig, they call them trays, wood tray, and it, it's wood, and it was $3, but it's that little pink, um, and they had a rooster, I don't, I didn't like the rooster, but I'm thinking I'm going to paint the edge black, I think that would be really cute in my kitchen because I've got black, you know, appliances, so in the black tray, I think that would be really cute. And I already have another pig over there. So I think this would be really cute to add to like my cutting board collection, not as a tray. 
I guess you could maybe, I don't know if it's food safe and you could use it as like, um, oh, for decorative use only. Okay, so really it's kind of like a decorative cutting board. <laughs> like I will put food on it. I'm going to leave that sticker on the back too, so there I remind myself. But it's so cute and I can't wait to paint. I'll have to sand this hot pink down because it's shiny um, and it probably, the paint probably won't stick. So I'm going to paint that black on the edges. This was $3 and I'll get close and show you. And then there's the dairy bottle. This is huge. Um, it's got a, a, like a relief on the front that has the dairy cow and it says dairy. And it's the shape of like old dairy bottles and it has like a nice cap on it. I like it just the way it is, but I'm thinking I'm probably going to use it for my tea when I have to work all day. Um, I drink hibiscus tea. It's really good for our kidneys and everything. Um, I'm going to fill it up with a little bit of ice and then put my hibiscus tea because it's quite a bit. Or I could do water. But isn't that cute? I don't know if you could see it. It says dairy. And that was $3 also. Here's a little piggy holding it by its butt. <laughs> So I thought for $3 each, that was pretty cute. Um, next, let me show you. Sorry guys for eating from the camera. Uh-oh. Um, what I got as far as the dishware. So I found the sunflower dishware. I couldn't believe that my store had it. And I, I only saw a set of four. So I thought, oh, it must have gotten returned. And then I went around the aisle and it was on end cap, all of it. The only thing that they did not have were the large plates, which is fine because I have plenty of white plates and I can just put the white plate underneath and it's fine. Isn't that gorgeous, you guys? I mean, I have thought that there's stuff. I've seen them, other YouTubers haul them, like Joan Brody and uh, who else? Oh, I can't remember. A couple other people that I watch. And I just thought they're absolutely stunning. And this reminds me of summer, late summer. So I just love these. I like that they're a dark yellow, like a gold and an orange. So I got four of the salad plates, four of the bowls. Look how pretty they are. Um, four of the mugs. And the mugs are not huge, but I don't drink huge. I don't even drink a full cup of coffee in the morning. So this is like perfect. And I use mugs for other things like my yogurt, cottage cheese. It's like a mini bowl for me. And oh, they're so pretty. Okay, so I got four of those. I got four of the glasses. These totally remind me of my mom. She had glass. She probably brought the, bought them at the Dollar Tree. <clears throat> Excuse me. My allergies, guys. Um, aren't these pretty, these glasses? I already broke one, though. <laughs> I'm going to be careful, though, because I can feel the coloration on the outside. I think it's like the ones my mom had, too. Hers didn't scratch easy, but I just want to be careful. I like the size of these. So I got four of those, but I did break one, and it's my fault. I broke it. It's the back one there. I broke it on the way home. Um, I I was trying to hurry and pack them up. Then I got two of the towels, and I just think they're cute. I won't use them for actual towels. I'm going to use them probably for just decor purposes. Um, one of my subscribers, Judy. Hi, Judy. <laughs> She makes these gorgeous uh, yellow shortbread cookies into the shape of a uh, sunflower. And she puts like mini chocolate chips in the centers. And I've seen cupcakes, but I've never seen the cookies. So Judy, I, I think um, in spirit of you, I'm going to be making the cupcakes and piping the flowers and then putting the little uh, centers with the mini chocolate chips. So I just thought that was so cute. And um, having seen your cookies, I was like, oh my gosh, I have to make these. And then I'm sure the guys here will like them because if you're new to my channel, I have three male tenants uh, ranging from a police officer to, uh, 
what does he do? And one's a student. Um, anyways, and then I got another oven mitt. I'm not sure about this oven mitt. Like the other one that I did buy had the silver backing to it and it seemed thicker. So I feel like this one is literally not going to be very protective. So I'll probably use this as a, just a decorative piece. I think it's pretty though. I can't, I don't like a whole lot of color in my kitchen. So I'm just going to do switch up, start switching out things like now that 4th of July is over very quickly and enjoy all the pictures that I got and everything. Then I got the two pot holders. These I could probably use, but I don't really want to because I think they're pretty. <laughs> and I may not keep these. I don't know, but I think they're pretty enough to use. I think they're cute. They did have the placemats. I didn't like them because they looked really fake. Um, I mean, the, the fabric was like a polyester and it just looked, it didn't look very good. And so I didn't like them. Um, okay, let's start on the, well, before we get the flowers, I got two more of these. These were great guys. I loved these. I used them for 4th of July for my three tiered stand to serve things in them. They have like a nice um, lid on them that actually does stay and they're the silver I think it's stainless steel and then it um and then the copper coating I'm I'm sure it's faux copper but these are like the perfect size for even for you to take to work maybe with your yogurt and some granola on top or some hummus and then take some veggies on the side um they're made in India they make really good um, metals like this, them and Mexico um, and Italy. And I love that it has a top to it. Now, I don't like plastic, but that won't touch my food. So I kind of feel okay about that. Um, and it doesn't say hand wash only, but I don't know why, maybe because the copper part, but it's not painted on that I can feel. I don't know. So I'm just going to put them in the dishwasher anyways, because I just, I like to wash everything in the dishwasher. Okay. I'm trying to go faster, guys. I don't want this to go on and on. Um, I got these. Look at these. They almost look like a dog bowl, right? Water bowl. But they have the copper on the outside. Same thing, made in India, hand wash only. But these are, I got four of them. I think these would be great for camping. And I also think that um, they're great for like when you're doing a bunch of chopping and need to separate everything you can put everything in these bowls um, and they're stackable. They, they stack really flat like I love that. So these are great for baking and I think chopping and cooking and not only that, but I eat a lot of eggs and sometimes I like to whip my eggs and this is like the perfect size for like one or two eggs. So this is like even for four eggs for my dad and I. So I love them. I think they're so beautiful. I'm going to have to think of what to do with these because I think they're just gorgeous. So I got those. I got four of them, even though I only have three out. I already used one. Um, then the flowers. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to start at this end. Um, you guys saw me haul the dahlias before and some of the sunflowers, but I got more colors because I'm really trying to incorporate more color for like fall and autumn, late summer. We get an Indian summer here most, most of the time. And um, I really love these dahlias and I'll get closer and show you them. So hold on guys. Okay, I had, I already bought uh, one, two, I already bought three bunches, okay? But look at these. So you have the silk part of the flower, you have the burlap part of the flower, and then you have the, the smaller pieces in the middle and then like little plastic dually dops, whatever they are in there. The stamen, I guess. I don't know if you could see that. Okay, and then you have the little flower next to it. It's smaller than the big one, as you can see. I think that's really cool that they did that with these flowers. And then the, the biggest outer part is the burlap, and then so on. So I now, I bought two more 
Okay, so now I have five of these, and I think these are just beautiful. Oh my gosh. Okay, then I'll put that away. <laughs> um, oh my gosh, you guys, I'm so hot. It's so hot here today. It was cool early in the morning and afternoon, but I got more of the, I'll get these out. I only got three of these. These are the sunflowers that are like an orange, like a rust, a light rust orange. And the burlap ones, I think they're so pretty. I'm think okay, so all of these I'll be using on the inside of my house. But I might be using a couple of them on my porch. Um, because I only like to buy white pumpkins uh, for the fall. And I don't even like to carve them anymore because I think they're so beautiful. And I have those pre-carved ones that I already have anyways for Halloween. I do get a lot of trick-or-treaters. Okay. Let me show you. Gosh, these are so beautiful. All right. I wish they had... Well, they did have more of these. These are the hydrangeas in the orange. The rust... It looks kind of reddish orange in there, but it's more of a rust burnt orange. And see the little burlapy. Okay. I bought, I think, five or six of these because I think these are going to be gorgeous in the fall. And I, I do like to decorate with burnt orange. I have a rug with this color in it. I'm not going to use it this year, but I like the accents of burnt orange in my decor. So, especially for the fall, I'm really glad I caught these. <laughs> You should have seen me. Everyone was like staring at me like, oh my gosh, why is she getting so many flowers? Then I got, and by the way, in those hydrangeas, they they had, um, they had like a, and I'm thinking of you, Arlen, when I say this, if you watch this video, um, in the hydrangeas, they had that gold and it was um, a yellow gold, kind of like those sunflowers with gold and then the orangey. It was so pretty, so, so pretty. And I didn't get them because it just wasn't my color. Um, I might go back and get them though because they were pretty. Um, I might end up using that color, I don't know. So then I got these burnt orange ones. Okay, and I do like these. So I got, I think, three or four of these. Let's see, one, two, three, four. Okay, four of those. And then I'm telling you, these hydrangeas are so beautiful. They look like, um, oh, I can't think of those flowers. The ones that are chrysanthemums? No. The ones that are, everyone's using right now and they have them in Italy and they're hanging over their boxes on their window boxes. I can't think of the name. Then look at these red dahlias. These I think I'm going to use for next year for patriotic, you know, red, white, and blue because I like the darkness of them. And the um, the red burlap is darker. I know you probably can't see that. And the same thing, different sizes. So I got, I think, three, no, two of these only. And I thought maybe I should get more, but I think I'm fine. I got one, two... Three of these red, um, I know they're all kind of blending in. The lighting in here is really bad. The red sunflowers. I think these are going to be so stunning with what I'm going to be doing with them. And look how pretty they look in the um, galvanized bucket. I think they look so beautiful. Okay, then I, they, my store did get these the cotton picks, which I was floored, you guys. But when I saw people haul them, I didn't like them, to be honest. Um, I thought they were kind of ugly, actually. Because the, let me show you why, before I turn anyone off with them. Okay, so here is an actual, no, that's not one. Oh, am I missing one? I might be missing one. Oh, I might be missing one of the little thingies. I, Okay, so let's just take one off here. So the cotton picks, they have a bunch of stuff on them, like pine cones, and then these little, like, almost like cattails. I don't know what you would call those. And 
And then you've got only two little cotton bowls, balls, bowls. I don't know if it's bowls or balls. You guys can tell me that too. But when I saw people haul them, I thought to myself, why do they look so fuzzy? And see how like fake they look, but from afar, not bad. This is not real cotton, that's why. It's like that uh, acrylic material that like, uh, hmm, they make like Christmas stuff, like they wrap ornaments in. I don't know that material, it's like an acrylic. But the outside is plastic. I like the form on the outside. As long as you're not looking at it like that, I think they're okay. And I think you can just kind of form the cotton bowls into back into the pod. So they had different ones. They had ones with these little um, wheat looking things, right? They had those and they had these in a rust color and lime color and so on. But I only got four. I feel like that's enough. I do like the pine cones. I think I'm gonna take these all off separately and use them separately somehow. Uh, it's not a bad deal. I just think that they're not gorgeous, you know, like the real, the real deals real deal. So I only got four. So that's fine. And then we're almost done, you guys. And then I got the exciting news. Ooh, I can't wait to tell you guys. Okay. I'm redoing my laundry room for more storage and I, they were out of the gray. So I only have two of the gray storage containers, the shoe box containers. So I bought five of the light blue and they do actually um, close nicely with the lid because in the past they didn't used to. So I can still see through it and they do lock. So I like that and I can see through it. So that was the most important thing for me. So I got five and I have two, so that's seven. And I was trying to get nine, but it's fine. I can work with seven. And then, let's see. Lastly, oh yes. <laughs> I have to tell you all this. Okay, what? how much time we have on here? Oh, I'm going long. Okay, let me hurry up and say this. So... Let me get in front of the camera. Um, as you guys may know, sorry, I had to walk away for a second. Um, as you guys may know, I have this little girl, right? She was an abandoned puppy dog and she was old. She, this was just last September. She was an abandoned little dog on my dad's doorstep in Nevada and my dad has cameras up there and he did see someone drop her off literally so I don't know who would ever do that to a little dog and so we kept her and we, we we call her baby so her name is baby <laughs> look how cute she is look at her little markings she looks like a little um Mickey Mouse the old Mickey Mouse her little markings. She's tiny, guys. She's only like four and a half pounds. Teeny tiny. Um, she's literally just bones, sticks, you know, like sticks and skin. That's what we call her. I mean, look at her. Just, oh, oh, baby, I'm sorry. Oh, my goodness. So she's teeny, right? So cute and sweet. Then when I went to the store, this is kind of a long story, so I'm going to make it real short. Someone at the Dollar Tree abandoned this little guy. <laughs> he's so sweet. Look how muscular he is. I know you can't tell, but he's super, he's, he's a young dog. He's, he's bigger than the nugget. Um, so sad, the situation. I won't really get into it and maybe I'll explain it another time, but I wanted to show you guys the addition uh, to my little family for right now because he didn't have a chip in. He's young. He's a little, he's probably about eight months old to a year. I'm not really sure. Probably 10 months to a year. And he's a Jack Russell Chihuahua mix, I think. And he's got brown gray eyes and little pink nose and lips. He looks like a little meerkat. He's very energetic. So I think I'm going to keep him um, the people that abandoned him did not want him. That was clear. 
And it was sad because he came running in the store looking for them. And uh, it broke my heart. So I helped catch the dog. I said, well, we got to catch this dog. You know, I, I didn't want it to be outside and just like shoot away because it was really hot that day. And so the manager was like, yeah, okay. And I said, I'll help you catch it and I'll take it to the SPCA. And so he is such a sweet little thing. He's young, he needs to be trained. He's not potty trained or anything. He was filthy, you could see the gray dirt on him. And um, oh my gosh, he is, he is very energetic and he's very jealous. Huh, mm, you're, so, you're, so, ooh, you're so jealous, baby. He gets really jealous when I talk to the nugget. And so anyways, um, I think I'm going to keep them. I'm not sure because I have a lot on my hands as it is, as you all know. But I was thinking of calling him Biscuit. And even if I decide to find a family that would be appropriate to adopt him, I want him trained. And so I want to take care of that and do that. And so he doesn't get returned and, you know, going through the cycle of getting returned. So I have done adoptions with cats and a couple of dogs in the past, but he's on the younger side, so he needs a little more training. Um, <clears throat> tell me what you guys think for a name, and uh, I'm thinking Biscuit because of his color. <laughs> so he's such a pill, like I, I call him a pill, <laughs> and because uh, he gets into everything and he's, he's very fast and runs and jumps. So this is the little guy. Anyways, I forgot to show you a couple things. I'll tell you the story another time. I got two more things from Target and a couple more things from the Dollar Tree. Let's, you guys are gonna have to fast forward through some of this, I think. So I got these on clearance. These were $5 originally and they were $2.50 and they have the little stars. I like the shape of them and I love these cream flowers from the Dollar Tree. They have the pine cone centers. Um, and I just love them. They think they're so beautiful and I like the texture of the pine cone. I didn't originally like these, but I do now. I think they're so pretty. So I got those. I got another one of these at Target and I got the sunflowers in like the orangey gold. I think they're really pretty also with the, um, pine cone. I actually like these better than the ones over there, the silk ones over there. So guys, I have a few projects that I'm working on um, and I will be showing you. I'm trying to catch up on all my videos and I had to catch up on work and you know make sure my dad was okay still. So I haven't done a whole lot of videos, but I had to show you guys this. I'm so excited over it and look at all these gorgeous flowers and they're just for my house, my house only, and I just love them. So. Guys, I hope you have a wonderful um, weekend. It's today's Friday, yeah. <laughs> and I hope you all have a blessed weekend at that. And I will be making a few more videos today because I have a little time and then I'll be releasing one a day. So guys, have a wonderful weekend. Let me know what you think about the name for the little dog. I'm thinking Biscuit. All right, guys, talk to you later. Bye.